Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all my other videos that I've done on my channel. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be talking about four topics. The human skin, tendons, ligaments and muscles. First, I will start with the human skin. The human skin is the body's largest organ and is part of the integumentary system. The integumentary system is a system that consists of the skin, hair, nails, the subcutaneous tissue and glands. The most obvious function of the integumentary system is the protection that the skin gives to the underlying tissues. In adults, skin accounts for about 16% of total body weight and covers a surface area of approximately 22 square feet or 2 square meters. There are different thicknesses and textures of skin on different parts of the body. The skin is thin underneath the eyes, but is thick on the soles of the feet and palms of the hand. The skin is made up of three layers of tissue, the epidermis, the dermis and the hypodermis. The epidermis is the top visible layer of the skin and it is constantly being renewed as dense as dead skin cells, cells are shed. The main functions of the epidermis layer include making new skin cells. New skin cells form at the bottom of this layer. It takes about a month for skin cells to reach the top of the epidermis layer. The new cells will replace the old cells found on the surface of the skin which are dead and, continu and continuously flake off giving the skin its colour. The epidermis contains melanocytes, which are cells that produce melanin, the pigment that gives the skin its colour. Protecting the skin. Keratin is a protein made by cells found in the epidermis. It gives the skin its toughness and strength. The dermis. The dermis is the middle layer of the skin. Below the epidermis, it is the thickest layer of the skin and contains nerves and blood vessels. It is also home to sweat glands, oil glands and hair follicles. The dermis layer gives the skin its flexibility and strength. It's made up of mostly of a protein called collagen that makes the skin stretchy and strong. The functions of the dermis layer include sensing pain and touch. Nerve endings in the dermis contain, receptor, contain receptors that transmit sensations such as pain, pressure, touch, itchiness and temperature to the brain. Producing sweat gland, producing sweat and oils. Sweat glands produce sweat and sweat cools the body. Sebaceous Sebaceous glands make the oils that keep the skin soft and moist. Growing hair. Hair follicles found in the dermis layer grow the hair on your head, face and the rest of the body. Hair also helps to control body temperature and protect the body from injury. Bringing blood to the skin. Blood vessels in the dermis nourish the skin and help control body temperature. When the skin becomes too hot, blood vessels enlarge to release heat from the skin surface and if the body becomes too cold, the vessels constrict so that they can retain body heat. Fighting infection. Lymphatic vessels which drain fluid from the tissues and are important part and and are an important part of the immune system are housed in the dermis. They help to ward off infection and are and other harmful substances. Now moving on to the tendons. A tendon is a tough band of fibrous connective tissue that connects the muscle to the bone and is capable of withstanding tension. Tendons are made of collagen. 
ligaments or ciliates. Tendons are the connective tissues that transmit the mechanical force or muscle contraction to the bones. The tendon is firmly connected to muscle fibers at one end and to component of the bone at its other end. Tendons are very strong, having one of the highest tensile strengths found among soft tissues. The great strength which is necessary for withstanding the stresses generated by muscular contraction is attributed to the hierarchical structure, parallel orientation and tissue, composition of tendon fibers. The Achilles tendon is the largest tendon in the body. It attaches the calf muscle to the heel bone. Now moving on to the next topic, the ligaments. Ligaments are soft collagenous tissues. Ligaments connect bone to bone and play a significant role in musculoskeletal biomechanics. They give your joints support and limit their movement. You have ligaments around your knees, ankles, elbows, shoulders and other joints. Stretching or, stretching or tearing them can make your joints unstable. There are four major ones connecting your femur, thigh bone, and tibia, shin bone. Those ligaments are anter the, anter the anterior cruciate ligament, the posterior cruciate ligament, medial, medial cruciate ligament, lateral collateral ligament. The anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments are at the center of your knee. The anterior cruciate ligament is toward the front of the knee. It controls forward movement and rotation of your shin bone. The posterior cruciate ligament is toward the back of the knee and it contracts the backward movement and it controls the backward movement of your shin bone. The medial cruciate ligament is on the inside of the knee and gives that area stability. The lateral collateral ligament is on the outside of the knee and it keeps the area around it stable. Now, moving on to the final topic, the muscles. The function of the muscles is to produce force and motion. They are primarily responsible for maintaining and changing posture, locomotion, as well as movement of the internal organs such as the contraction of the heart and movement through the digestive system via prostasis. There are more than 600 muscles that work together to enable the full functioning of the body. There are three types of muscles in the body. The skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscles are the only muscles that can be consciously controlled. They are attached to bones and contracted and are contracting and contracting the muscles causes the movement of those bones. Any action that a person consciously undertakes involves the use of skeletal muscles. Examples of such activities include running, chewing and writing. Smooth muscle. Smooth muscle lines the inside of blood vessels and organs such as the stomach and is also known as the visceral muscle. It is the weakest muscle, but it has an essential role in moving food along the digestive tract and maintaining blood circulation through the blood vessels. The smooth muscle acts involuntarily and cannot be consciously controlled. Cardiac muscle. The cardiac muscle is located in the heart and it pumps blood around the body. The cardiac muscle stimulates its own contractions that form our heartbeat. Signals from the nervous system control the rate of contractions. This type of muscle is strong and acts involuntarily. The 11 main functions of the muscular system are mobility, stability, posture, circulation, respiration, digestion, urination, childbirth, vision, organ protection and temperature regulation. Well that's all for this video, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload.